Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be jumping off this ledge. Well, uh, that went as well as I expected. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be jumping off this ledge and seeing if I can land in those ledges over there. Nope. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be jumping off this ledge and see if I can land on that ledge over there. Nope. Okay, well we've we've ruled out every ledge. Time to time to do some crack jimmying and uh, get get ourselves out of here. I have to wonder. I, I mean, my exploration instincts, I feel, are you know fairly well developed at this point with all the video games I played. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh uh, yeah, crack Jimmy, crack Jimmy. Oh, uh, take that, crack Jimmy. Oh yeah, you like that. Crack. Eh. That was actually kind of disgusting. <laughs> that little crack Jimmy joke was actually pretty disgusting. Jeez, bird. What are you doing? Get your, get your head out of the gutter. Get your fingers out of the crack. <laughs> and, and, uh, remember that this, this is a game, this is a show for, uh, for children. Ostensibly. Anyway. <laughs> With all that said, let's, uh, hey, this is interesting. Was I, I remember there was an area that I was looking into earlier that had, uh, a big old ball like that that I was trying to go like, ha, at, but I couldn't. Where, where is that? I don't know, but I remember this room. This room is very interesting because there is, uh, I, I came through here, wasn't able to solve anything, and then moved on from it. I went through that partially broken door down there. So that's where this is in relation to everything else. Now I'm gonna go back seas a little bit, and first we have this baby, which I can't, uh, that's interesting. So, I guess I'm gonna hit this uh, thing with my voice, and we're gonna just see what happens when I do this. Well, I broke it forever. Steve, is that you? Steve, can you see me? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> Wheatley's back! Hooray! Um. So what I'm gonna need you to do, if the, if you're okay with it, is we're gonna, we're, I, I want you to um, put me over through the portal and um, we'll be able to, to solve all these puzzles here. Yes, we will. I don't remember, I, I remember, I, all I remember about Wheatley is that he was an idiot and he was voiced by Steven Mercer. Um, that was probably not the best uh, Wheatley impression I could have done, but I also didn't write Portal, so I will have to give myself a bit of a pass on that one. The point is, that bastard. Whoa! <laughs> He's like, oh no 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 no. That's a that's a Wheatley moment there. <laughs> cool. So, uh, Wheatley's gone. Yes, I will. Let's look over here. I have to wonder, since I've made it up, I'm wondering if there are any secret passages that I can effectively take that will take me back to that area that I was not able to solve earlier and will allow me to get those puzzle pieces and whatnot that I. Well, not puzzle pieces, but like whatever those collectibles were that I wasn't able to do earlier. This. Oh, God, it almost looks climbable, doesn't it? But there's no ledges to grab onto, so I don't think it's going to work. But it looks like it should carry you somewhere. Ah, it's a shame. I know it's not going to work, though. And if I fall down here, it's going to be much more annoying to get back up. Unless I die, in which case it's not actually that big of a deal. The point is, this area is all interconnected, so I assume as I continue to solve things, more stuff will get unlocked. Um... I'm just gonna take this thing for right now, just to have it. I don't know what... I haven't looked around this room at all, so I don't know what the things are for me to interact with, but I'm just gonna have this. Uh, I may just go ahead and shove it in my friend's eyeball, because I got nothing else to do with it right now, and hell, he'll probably appreciate it. 
Stevie Tree E. Give. Uh, never mind. I will just make you more powerful temporarily. <laughs> okay, well, I, I know if I put it on this uh, mandala thing, it will unlock this. Alright. Uh, is this a timed baby? Or is this a regular baby? It is a. Regular baby? Oh no! Oh man! Steve's been through enough, guys. Let him. Let him just. Just have like a normal, like, 35 seconds, okay? Oh, interesting. This is a rail system. Okay. So. From here. If I pick this up. What did I accomplish? Hmm. <laughs> There's a couple things I can inter interact with, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I can move this over into this uh, diadem thing. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to call it. Diadem is probably not the right word, even remotely. So we're going to move it onto here for right now. And then... I want to see how is this interacted with anything. It looks like that door opens by a connection on the upper floor, which I cannot reach yet. Uh, this door just is not openable, and this thing is all set up. So let's go ahead and interact with the with the hourglass baby and see what happens. Oh, that. Uh, oh, it's another elevator. I should have known. Okay, and I needed to bring something with me, but we can also interact with this for right now. And we'll see what... Oh, I created a sentinel! Okay, cool. Tree E. Stevie uh, now lives. Aww, I love Tree E. Stevie. He's a... He, 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 go on, bro. There's no reason to, to be so wobbly dobbly. You got you got nice strong legs. You got you got nothing to worry about. Okay, so I assume that what I need to do is I need to go back over here, yell at the hourglass baby, grab the pedestal thing, move it into this room by having Tree E Stevie stand where the pedestal is. Uh oh Jesus, Tree E Stevie, I thought we were friends. What well, if the robot was just like right on my face and just took a big robo dukeage? <laughs> oh, really? No, this is too adorable. So he's too scared to walk, because he doesn't know how to walk yet. So I have to teach him how to walk. Uh, well, what happened if... Okay, I... Let's see if I can move this. I'm going to move this back in front of Tree E. Stevie. And... Uh, let's... Let's see what happens if I interact with this old baby. I cannot interact with the old baby. Uh, one thing that I've probably been able to do this whole time that I've yet to explore is taking this ball and putting it on the pedestal that I can move around. I can almost guarantee that this will accomplish something by doing this. Oh, okay. Tree E. Stevie, these are like his Scooby Snacks. He really likes the, uh, the, the balls of energy. Either that, or he, uh, oh yeah, there we are, there we are. Okay, there we go. So, I want you to wait here. What the hell? He got all, like, super glowy when I blew that up on him. That was really neat. Okay, well, uh, for now, I should be able to take this upstairs, so we're gonna do that. Thank you, Tree E. Stevie. I will be right back, and I assume he's not gonna be, like, too much like a lost, uh, like a dog, and be like, You're leaving me? Okay, I guess, uh, you're gone forever, and I'm loved, unloved, and I'm going to die now. 
Well, uh, it was nice having a master in the home, but now, uh, maybe I just need to, like, play some jazz music down there, and, uh, well, I mean, I know a barbershop quartet or two that can help entertain him, so he doesn't feel like he's completely alone and abandoned. Uh, on the other hand, he's like, door? Door, 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 door? So I guess he found some sort of purpose in life that isn't tied to me so much. Good. I'm glad he has hobbies. I feel, I'd feel bad for him if he just uh, relied on me for uh, all this entertainment. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what happens if I get off of this thing? Oh, it's just extinguished. Oh, never mind. That is weird. This is weird. Serve is weird. Okay, let's, uh, let's... Let's, uh, go out this door, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, knew it, knew it. Everything that's got a sentinel thing, the sentinels can walk on. I never said that. I had a suspicion, um, in my mind that if we were to get sentinels to help us out, they would, uh, be able to walk up these sentinel-esque ledges. I never articulated that because I didn't uh, want to count my chickens before they were conceived. Um, and also, I don't know how to get up onto the other ledge. I guess uh, I can probably grab onto this, right? Yeah, I just wasn't able to do it earlier because of the uh, because I, had, I was too busy having my balls in my hand. Okay, well, while while Stevie checks out the universe up there. I'm just going to quickly run around down under, and, yep, um, that's terrain. I found a pointless. Really, really feeling super cool and adventurous right now, having done that. Okay. I think I know how to do this. We're going to go through here. No, we're going to look around first and make sure I don't miss any secrets. It look, looks like we're okay. There's a couple of ledges along the walls that looked uh, a little bit enticing, like, Hey, kid, if you come over here and jimmy your fingers into my crack, I'll give you a toy. Uh... Anyway, let's, uh, let's figure out a way to open up that door. Um, anything up over here? Yep, okay. I was looking for this. This will probably be the thing that allows me to open up the door. Ah, uh, I'm not swole enough. Wait, yes I am. <laughs> okay, whoops. I love this thing so much. This thing is the greatest thing. All the way it stomp walks like, I can do that. I can walk wherever I want. Doof, 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 doof. Oh man. Jesus Christ, the whole screen is shaking. Uh, imagine if, imagine if like, oh, yep, he broke the, uh, he broke the things. Imagine if you had a kid and you were trying to teach it how to walk and it just was like, Mommy, Daddy, I'm learning how to walk. I can do it. <laughs> Parenting would be ten times more terrifying than it already is. Ah, no, don't kill me. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Where the hell are you going? Oh, he is on a stomping mission to break the vines that I saw earlier that I remembered. Oh, I remembered they were vines earlier. And there they are. They're gonna go away. They're gonna go away and Bert's gonna Bert's gonna have a good time. And also how'd I get through there? Uh Did I miss a secret? It kinda looks like there was a secret back there that I chickened out of exploring too much. Let's, uh, let's go back. I think I, I see, the, 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 something about that is, like, fairly enticing and interesting to me. I think it might actually be a waste of my time to go back and explore that section, but there's only one way to find out. And also, I get to kill this thing, and I got an achievement for doing that, so that's always nice. Okay, so I've come up here. This allowed me to get back over here, and if I go... Up to the yes, yes, yes. This is taking me back to the to the bridgey area that I looked under and couldn't find anything. So there has to be there. There's got to be some sort of secrets 
around here, right? Yes, yes, there's secret, there's secret. I did it, I did it. Everything about life is perfect. Nothing bad can ever happen to me ever again. In this moment, I am euphoric. Let's, uh, let's go down so we don't have to fall as far to our deaths. Give it to me, give me the puzzle piece. Oh, I want it so much. Got it. No. No, I didn't. I, I missed one of the puzzles from the previous section of the game. Oh, man. Oh. Huh. Sentinel walkway, eh? Oh, okay. Here's how I get back up as I climb on this. Aha! It's hidden by the... Well... So they don't use the traditional ledge grabbies to uh, draw your eye to it. They use those uh, those patch of um, dead grass instead. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good way to do it because it's a subtle change. Uh, it's still enough to where you can catch on uh, if you're looking for a way up. Like, oh yeah, that, that makes sense to look for that. But as you enter the room and you look down... You just see dead grass as like a little doodad. You don't you don't really connect in your head like, oh, that's a ledge that's being obfuscated. So good on the developers. Yet another thing that proves they really, really know what they're doing over at the Tequila Works company. Uh, just so many little touches that suggest these people, despite the fact that they've only made three games, as far as I can tell, professionally. They have an enormous amount of talent and intuition for how to make their games uh, cohesive, well-designed. Um, they don't know how to program their cameras so good. Except for the fact that I do appreciate uh, does the camera try. The camera tries very hard to make sure that it can see you. But I figured, found out a way to beat it. Turns out the camera is very bad at beating around the bush.